Hey friends and happy Sunday, y'all. I just been chilling and relaxing all day pretty much. Like literally have not done anything. Right here recording. Oh, I can't do nothing. Hi everyone. Anyways, like I was trying to say, <laughs> um, I didn't, we didn't do much. We just been chilling, relaxing. It's like raining, it's dreary. I it's just ain't been in the mood. Thank you. So I'm about to cook dinner. I have been craving the lasagna soup that I made before. Y'all, it was so good. And it doesn't come out, like the way I made it doesn't come out super soupy because I'm not like really into soup. But... If you're interested in knowing how I made it, then definitely check out the video that I, I like. Did I link it? Did I link? I don't remember if I linked the recipe, Not sure. but I wasn't asking you. <laughs> um, I don't remember if I linked the recipe, but I did mention how I made it in a previous vlog. So I'll go ahead and link that up above. But let me go ahead and get started because let's see, it's 544 now. We just came back in from Aldi. I just went out to get a few things that I still needed. So I'm going to start cooking and I will chat with y'all later. Girl, where's the turntable? <laughs> y'all, it is all done. So the one thing I did forget to mention is that I was using shells today. Um, I used these instead of lasagna noodles. No avocado moment? Yo, he won't give me a break. Anyways, like I was saying, I used shells today instead of lasagna noodles because um, I didn't have any and I just wanted to put these to use. So same thing, it's pasta, but we about to dig in baby it is smelling good shut up so i just got out the shower and i feel so good refreshed clean fresh all that good stuff so i did all my skincare i did my um i bodied up my lo bodied up my lotion what girl it's time to go to bed. <laughs> Lotioned up my body. The last thing I got to do is put something on my feet. And I opened my nightstand. And I just, I'm just i telling you, out of sight, out of mind. That's why I have to have my stuff visible. Because I forget about the stuff that I buy. Like, all the time. So I opened up my nightstand. And I found this in there. And I was like, oh, I could really use this right now. And I pulled out a pair of my fuzzy socks. So I'm going to put that on. Put them on after i put the cream on because cha my feet need it i haven't had a pedicure in a very long time because i've been doing my feet at home but i think it might be time just for like a self-care pamper type of day i feel like i just want somebody else to handle my feet like for once like maybe like once a year maybe i could do it like once every six months something i don't know but i think it's time my feet are screaming bitch take me to the salon to a good one <laughs> so i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm probably gonna treat myself one of these days so whenever i do that i will definitely bring y'all along so i'm gonna put this i lit my little candle y'all i have I still have so many winter and like christmas candles that are taking forever to burn i don't know about y'all but i feel like my candles before from bath and body works used to burn a lot faster and now they've just been burning so slow so I have this one. It's the Frozen Lake. I pulled it out a few vlogs ago and I've burned it quite a few times. And look at where it's at. It's like they're taking forever to burn. I still have so many winter, like the winter ones I don't mind, but like the Christmas ones, I'm not going to pull a Christmas one out when Christmas left already. So I'm just going to have to save those for next year. Um, yeah, it kind of sucks because I got them and I didn't really get to use them, but the con is I have it for next year, so then I won't have an excuse to be buying a bunch of candles. <laughs> Anyways, I'm, I got my candle going, and then once I'm done with my feet, I'm going to read my book. I have not even put a dent in this, y'all. I'm so bad. This is why I'm, like, trying to push myself and make it one of my goals to read a, one book a month. I need to keep it in the front of my mind, actually, to read because I'm so bad at reading. Like, I'll get on my phone and I'll read. Like, I'll read stuff on my phone. I'll read articles, captions, like people's long ass. I'll read. But when it comes to, like, a book, for some reason, lately, I just haven't been into it. And I want to get back into it, but it's been hard or I get tired. So... 
it's a shame i'm not even gonna tell you what page i'm on because i've been reading this book <laughs> all right so i when i first pulled it out and started reading it i read a couple pages but by the time i picked it up again i couldn't remember what i read so i reread it from the beginning and i'm on page nine i know i know it's horrible girl anyways so i'm definitely gonna try to read a couple pages before i go to sleep got my nice cold water it feels so good to hydrate after you take a nice hot shower oh the best feeling in the world and then i have my look i have this a whole little night routine going with y'all um, my Dr. Till sleep spray. It's with melatonin and essential oils. Multi-purpose sleep spray at bedtime in four different ways to enhance your sleep. In shower, on pillows and bedding, on body, and in bedroom. I didn't know that you could put this on your body. I didn't even think about that. And in the shower, didn't think about that either. So I'm going to go ahead and just give it a couple sprays. Let me go ahead and start reading my book. Cause your girl been slacking. Good morning. It's quality here. Good morning. Can I get a venti ice matcha latte? Anything else? Yes. Can I have that with four pumps of brown sugar? Okay. With vanilla sweet cream cold foam and cinnamon dolce topping. Okay. And then can I have a venti cup of just ice? Alright. That's it. 742. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, it is so dark out here because of the weather and I hate when it's given this quality. <sighs> Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. Car is a mess. Today's nine. My car is getting my last nerves. Let's see how much actually gets recorded this way. The camera is low. I don't know. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. TT. Two turn, baby. Hey. The train is loud, but anyways, hey friends, so I wanted to come on and talk to y'all real quick. So as you can see, I was on the road earlier and I have reached my destination. <laughs> so this is what I'm about to tell y'all now is not something that I've actually sat and talked to y'all about. Damn, that train is loud. Um... It's not something I've actually sat and talked to y'all about. I mean, if you watch my vlogs consistently, then you may have noticed some things here and there. Um, and I don't ever really talk about it as far as being a single mom. But Kyron's dad has not been in the picture. Well, we haven't been together in a very long time. Might have noticed him here and there briefly, or we might have mentioned him um, briefly in some of the vlogs. But he's never like in my vlogs or like around because he's been in jail. So I think I, sh I mentioned it slightly when we last came to see him and then for Kyron's birthday, I remember like showing him on video when he had a video visit. But besides that, like I've never brought him up and I'm even not sure if this is going to go up. So we'll see. But today is the day that he finally gets out. It came very quickly. No, he's been in there for, I think, over four years. We didn't know exactly when he was going to get out. So it kind of just like came like, OK, this is my release date. 
I need to be picked up. And although we're not together, we're still trying to be like very cordial, mature about things and, you know, just co-parent. So um, we're definitely a lot more mature than we were when we were young. Like we used to argue and fight all the time. And yeah, there were many years that we didn't get along, but now we're just in a mutual space of co-parenting and, you know, wanting the best for our son. So anyways, I'm super excited for Kai because he has been waiting to see his dad like all the time, you know, in person all the time um, for a while. He's had moments like when he was younger, he hasn't really talked about it too much. But when he was younger, like he used to cry and want his dad. And for a long time, he didn't even know his dad was in jail. Like I'd never bad mouth him, anything like that. But anyways, now the day has come four years later, over four years later that he's finally getting out. So I'm hoping that this is for the best. I'm hoping that, you know, he changes things around and does what he has to do as a parent. And I'm just glad to be able to see Kyron with his father, a male role model figure in his life. So yeah, I'm here waiting for him to come out and we'll see. Um, hopefully we'll, we'll get to see what Kyron's reaction is going to be like later because I'm sure that's going to be very interesting. He's so like nonchalant about things, majority of things that I, I feel like he's just going to be like, Oh, Hey dad. But I don't know. I'm, I'm just guessing. So yeah, we'll see what his reaction turns out to be like. <laughs> it should be interesting. Then we'll be heading back home. Kai thinks I'm at work today. He thinks that I'm at work because we got to plot the little surprise or whatever. So yeah, I had to put that little bug in his ear so he thinks that. Yeah, I'm I'm happy for him. I'm excited to see what, you know, the future holds for them and their relationship and stuff like that. So yeah, that's just a little update. Shut up. Dad. <laughs> Dad. You on? Yeah. Oh, look at you. <laughs> you happy? <laughs> nah. -uh. Now what I have? Now you want to cuddle? Uh, there goes your cuddle, buddy. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hey, you got lint all in your hair. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. No. All right, so we're getting some food now. I got a cheesesteak. What kind did you get? California chicken. Thanks. <laughs> What'd you get? Cheeseburger sub. Oh, good. I'm got some fries. I'm about to dig in. I'm outside in a damn cheese. Right outside.